Building background knowledge is really important for every student. Before you read a book, it's important to have background knowledge for that text. But for students who have significant disabilities, it's much more important because often they won't have had the extensive experiences. For example, a student in a wheelchair who has very significant physical impairments just may not have had the same life experiences that a typically developing ch uh, child has. So what we want to do is make sure that we help build those background knowledges. Uh, experiences. If you're reading a book and we're trying to uh, develop comprehension, we want to have our background knowledge building connect to what we're going to do that day. What is today's purpose for reading this story? So if today's purpose for reading that story is that we're going to talk about the feelings that the student had throughout the story, then we need to talk about feelings and we look at that story, we look at the picture and say, oh, bad day, good day. Uh-oh, this guy is going to have a day that has some bad things happening and some good things happening. And so I bet he's going to have some different feelings today in this story. He's at work. So when you work, let's say you're doing chores, what are some feelings you have? And now we're going to support those students in generating a whole list of feelings that they might have when they're working hard. And we're going to model and we can do some prompting if the students are really struggling. We're using their communication devices. We're showing them, where do I find feelings on your communication device? And then we have, for example, an aide says, oh, oh, I have an idea. Can, can I use your device, Marcy? And Marcy says yes, and she says, okay, I've got to go to feelings. Let's see. That's the masks here. I'm going to feelings. You know what? When I'm working sometimes, I feel really frustrated. So this teacher's do, uh, doing a talk aloud, and they say, do I see frustrated? Nope, I don't see it. I need to hit the arrow and get some more. Let me see, do I see frustrated? Oh, there it is, frustrated. Can we put that on the list? Because I feel frustrated sometimes when I'm working. We're helping those students figure out where do I find feelings. Students and the teachers have worked together to generate and build background knowledge for whatever purpose we have today.